and welcome back I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon so this afternoon I'm going to show you guys a first look at X Bloom coffee maker okay so this is the just started on a couple weeks ago a uh, kickstart just uh, just started about a few weeks ago it's called all in one coffee maker all in one coffee maker okay let me shut the sound check here uh, anyways, it's so an all-in-one coffee maker here. I'm, I'm looking at the Kickstarter page right now. Goodness. So far, 700 backers. That's quite a bit, okay? 700 backers. And almost $300,000 there. That's a lot of people. And then, the thing is, the price on this one is about $400, okay? $400 for the early special. And, hold on. So, I'm looking at the, their Kickstarter right now. Let's see here. Comes with coffee machine and the 32 pots, okay, 32 of them. So it comes with the pots like this, okay. So this is the whole beans, uh, fresh roasted whole beans, 32 days, and also reusable dripper too. So, man, very attractive, okay. So uh, I'm going to put the link down below. So make sure if you guys have a time, just check it out. There are uh, startup pay, uh, Kickstarter page there. Uh, pretty interesting. Let's see. Uh, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay, welcome to live streaming. And uh, I'm gonna shout out to Da Rock, is in that the live chat, and also Mr. Rainbow is also on it as well. This is an extremely simple machine. Comes to okay. By the way, so this is a prototype. Okay, so this is not a final product, just a prototype. Uh, comes with just a machine. Uh, so this is the magnetic, I said this kind of like grinder shoot, just go right underneath here. Again, just the magnetic, that's it. You know what, let's, uh, let's make some coffee with it. Okay, let's make some coffee. So you have a lot of options. So what this one does is very clever, okay. Every coffee pot has a R a RF, RFID. So this one already programmed with uh, this coffee machine which means already preset grinder size and also the uh, the pouring pattern and also speed of it as well is already pre-programmed very clever idea okay so this is the pot re uh, this is not a reusable okay you can actually compost it and then as you can see there there's the RFID and there's they have uh, this so that's the way water is coming out. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, so this one is just simply, you know what? Uh, let me open. Let me open it up here. Okay. So this morning I was playing with legalia this morning. So let's make a brew with a uh, verve. Okay, verve coffee. I believe this is from on uh, San. Is that San Francisco? Might be San Francisco. Again, so unfortunately this one does not have a RFID, so I'm just going to use the just regular one here, standard. So let me show you, let me show you how this thing works. I'm just going to put the, my server on the bottom. Hold on, let's do this. Okay, I'm just going to. There we go. Um, okay, so I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to use the uh, RFID from this. Uh, so this is kind of like genetic recipe. Is even this genetic? Uh, they are designed by the Scott Rowers. Okay, I'm just going to tap it on the top. So now this is set. Next, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the top here. Just like so. Uh, 15 grams of coffee. But if you look at it closely, so this is the paper. That's the probe paper here. I wonder if I can remove this. Hold on a second, guys. Since uh, this thing is open, let me show you what this one looks like. Here we go. So this is 15 grams of coffee. They got paper on the bottom, okay. Just the paper. 
you got three holes. So one thing, I mean, once you receive this, just make sure closing the airtight back. Okay, make sure airtight back. Uh, freshness is going to be concerned. But again, uh, make sure if you're planning on buying this, store it in airtight. So in that case, it doesn't get stale. All right, at this point, coffee grinds right inside of the coffee grinder. Just like so. I wonder you can just pre-wet this. Okay, I wonder you can just pre-wet if you wanted to. Hold on. Just like that, cup there. And then you simply tap it. You see that moving? Now, the grinder light is blinking. Smells great. So coffee, the coffee grind is done. Now they got it the very fresh. Okay. Now water is coming down. Just like so. Uh, initially blooming phase right now. And the shakes. If you are just joining us, we are doing live demo. The X bloom, okay. Very precise though. I wonder, let's take a look at from the bottom up. I think we are done, okay? And then we are going to hit the beep sound. Now, yep, now you heard the beep sound. Since this is magnetic, you just simply remove it, that's it. Just remove the pot. Yeah, that's it. Just let's take a look at this one. Yeah, works, works pretty good there. I'm just gonna swerve it. Let's give it a try. So this is the coffee from Burr. Okay, folks, all right. Okay, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to afternoon session here. Afternoon session. Cheers, guys. Man, it smells pretty good, I have to say. 
I'm just going to swerve it. Very light. I can definitely smell some fruit. Okay. Cheers. Man, I can definitely taste the, the brightness of orange. Very acidic. It's not a, a sour, but it's quite pleasant. Okay. Man, sweet, light balanced. The body of more like skim milk. It's not, it's not that heavy, very light there. Very light. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, this coffee is, is as good as my filter coffee, okay? So this one, the motion like this, kind of like take out the, your technique, okay? So give you that consistent uh, kind of brewing method every single time. So, so there's no human error, okay? So it's all done by automatically, especially freshly roasted grind coffee. So it makes big difference. Man, uh, Aaron asked me, uh, could you try with your own beans? The problem is this pot is not reusable, okay? This pot is not use reusable. I wonder. You know what? I wonder, Aaron. I wonder. Because if I'm going to dump it out, okay, I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna dump it on my garbage can here. Hold on. I wonder. I'm. I'm. I'm I wonder. I can actually, real in reality, can I reuse that? Uh, it's gonna be tough. Okay. The paper is inside. Like the, yeah. So this is the paper. Yeah. But. So this pot is still clean. You know what? If I'm gonna let it dry overnight, I'm gonna put another paper inside. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's try that tomorrow, okay, Aaron? Yeah, let's try that tomorrow. I'm very intrigued, okay? We can, which means we may, we might reuse that paper, who knows, okay? All right. Okay, I'm gonna shout out, we got the Gina. Shout out to Gina as well. And uh, we got some errands. Obviously we have also Evan is joining too. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so this, so I did a live session with uh, Brian Kwan from uh, Instagram, this uh, from Explum this morning during uh, the Instagram, the live session. So far, okay, everything about this machine. I mean, I love the size of it, okay? It's pretty thin, but the height might be a problem, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this coffee machine to uh, uh, my house tonight, and then maybe we can brew some coffee tomorrow morning, okay? Early tomorrow morning, and let's see how it's gonna perform, okay? I, I wanna see how it's gonna perform in the, the real life setting at home. And what else? Uh, obviously, a uh, forty-eight uh, grinder is forty-eight millimeter conical burr. Okay, forty-eight millimeter conical burr. And then uh, I think what I heard from Brian with the startup, the Kickstar, they're also including the the reusable. Hold on, let, let me double check on their uh, page. They're increasing the reusable draper too, okay, which means that we can actually reuse it. Uh, pretty clear that wave, I think the smaller paper there, you can reuse that, Reu reusable draper. Uh, 32 pots, and then plus the Explum coffee machine. Goodness, for 400 bucks. Okay, let's put that in perspective. Good hand, uh, good hand grinder is anywhere between 250 and 350. Just a hand grinder. So a hand grinder, usually a conical grinder anyway. So, uh, so far so good. Okay, I like the taste of it. And what else? Pretty easy to use. The one thing is the how well 
perform, okay? Uh, can you do three cups at a time, four cups at a time? I'm not quite sure. So uh, that's still unknown, but so far I made about two cups already. And uh, pretty much water tank on the behind here. And man, not a whole lot of moving parts, okay? Everything is all magnetic. So this is the uh, grinder. Just take this one out. Just clean it. Uh, according to Brian, they did a lot of uh, stress tests on it. Uh, comes to uh, retention uh, for the coffee grinds. It's pretty good, okay? It, 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 it performs well. So let's see here, you got Matt. Does it taste like a pullover? And so, Matt, I mean, answer is yes. I mean, it definitely tastes like rubber. Man. So think of it as a K-pot, but it's a lot better than K-pot, okay? The K-cup, not the K-pot, but K-cup. That's pretty the same thing. I mean, there's no comparison. We are, we are talking about the, the actual fresh roast ground beans, okay? So... According to Brian, they work with various coffee roasters throughout the country and throughout the world. And they're kind of like curated, you know. So, yeah, you know what? Again, very intriguing, okay. I cannot wait to see the, the final product. So this is just a prototype. Uh, they send it out to, you know, people as, you know, YouTube channel. You know, they want us to try it out. But so far, I'm, I like it. So it's going to be replaced my prover years. The answer is not, okay? I love the manual process, making coffee in the morning. I like to grind my own coffee. I like to the manual aspects of you know, pour over, okay? I mean, that's me. But if it's someone out there, if, if you are too busy, you don't want to do anything with it. Okay, so this might be the, you know, your option as well, so. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some more live session with X Bloom next couple of days because I do want to make coffee at home, okay? Because I'm here, you know what, I have a, a lot of space. I don't have to worry about the height, but at home, different story. It's going to be how it's going to fit into your kitchen, okay? So let's see here. We got uh, Evan. I love, Evan say, Evan loves uh, French press, Aero press, go. V60, but sometimes I want machine. Okay, yes. Yep. I love the low cost, low maintenance. Yep, craft of, of a manual machine. But again, I mean, so far this one checked all the boxes. Okay, the price is right. The 400 bucks. That's a pretty good price. And according to Brian, the pot cost starting at $1 per pot. The 15 gram. Okay. That's good, because if you go to coffee shop, if you go to pour over, you're looking at four or five bucks per cup. So the price is right. What else? I mean, only thing is the reliability, all right? Just reliability. And once they're gonna come up with a reusable uh, filter, goodness, I mean, that could be a game changer, okay? That could be definitely a game changer because not only you, you're going to have these options, and also you are going to make your own coffee as well. So your own coffee and then you can also, they're, they're uh, building an apps already. So they are, you can actually program on your, uh, your RFID. Okay. So it's going to be interesting. <coughs> Again, so, so this one is uh, a lot of holes in it. So just make sure you got to store in airtight. Okay. Vacuum seal airtight container to you know, keep it fresh, all right? Anyway, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna shout out to all my friends at live chat this afternoon. And then we, uh, Kenny just joining us as well, okay? We got Harold. Yep, you got some few people on. Anyway, if you have any questions or comment, uh, by the way, how many people actually like to see this, okay? I mean, what do you think about this coffee machine? Is that something interests you or, you know, let me know. You, plus we got the, uh, Holidays coming up right now. Let's see here. 
I'm looking at your startup page, the Kickstart page. You know what? Here, let me show you guys. Let me show you their Kickstart page. Uh, Xbloom, 20 auto. Okay, they got 20 different settings there. Let's see here. So again, comes with the machine, 32 pads and reusable draper. So that's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's I like, okay. I mean, I, I like the uh, idea of reusing, you know, reusable pot. So, I mean, you have a lot more options in your cup. So 15 gram is like pretty standard uh, recipe anyway. So, yeah, let's see here. I think we got a shout out to Rappo. Yeah, I mean, it is, I mean, it is exciting. Okay, it is, you know, it's different. Let's put it that way. It is a little, a little different. So anyway. Uh, we got uh, looking like Danny just joining us as well. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna uh, making some more videos with it. So it should be fun. All right, guys. See you guys next time.